2023 is shaping up to be an amazing year for video games, and I couldn't be more excited for the year ahead. Let's take a look at some of my most anticipated games. As a huge fan of survival titles, I have to start this list with the day before. This is a brand new IP from Fantastic, developers of Prop Hunt. This new game is an open world MMO that combines titles like The Division and DayZ, while also adding a ton of weapon customization and a ton more hidden underneath the surface. The game drops March the 1st and I cannot wait. Next up we have another open world co-op game, but one that's a little more fantastical? Nightingale from Inflection is set to launch in early access in the first half of 2023. It's a game that combines crafting, survival and universe traversing through a fey inhabited gaslit world. Before all this is a game that has been anticipated for a while now. Atomic Heart from Munfish is just around the corner, and looks like Bioshock and Fallout raised a dystopian Russian baby on a steady diet of iRobot reruns and LSD. This insane looking FPS game is dropping next month across all platforms February 21st and looks to be a wild ride when it does. On the more relaxing side of gaming we have a couple of titles I've been watching for a while. First up we have The Garden Path from Carrot Cake. It's a wonderful slice of life sim that takes influence from both Animal Crossing and Stardew but with a more relaxed daily short run experience. The artwork is beautiful and the soundtrack is sublime. For full transparency though, I will say that I was provided a code for the alpha, but quickly supported the Kickstarter and I'm loving the beta in anticipation of the full release later this year. Secondly, we have Lightyear Frontier from Framebreak and Amplifier, a farming sim with a bonus mystery narrative. Also, you get to run around an alien planet in a mech. What's not to love? Next up is a sequel to one of my favourite horror titles. Alan Wake 2 is coming this year and the first one was one of my favourite games of all time when it dropped back in the 360 era. With the work that Remedy have done to bring all of their games into a shared universe, I am so excited to see what they do with one of their most loved IPs and the lessons they've learned from everything so far. And monsters wear many faces. <laughs> Finally, a couple of titles I've been excited about since I first saw them. First off, we have Miasma Chronicles, a turp-based tactical RPG from the Bearded Ladies, the team behind the wonderful Mutant Year Zero. Miasma Chronicles is a tale of a boy and his robot Big Brother in a post-apocalyptic world. I appear to have a thing for worlds gone bad. As per the title, lastly is The Last Case of Benedict Fox from Plot Twist, a twisted world of secret organisations, forbidden rituals and cold-blooded murders. See, it says so on the star. This 2D metroidvania sees you traversing people's dreams to investigate a family's gruesome murder and the disappearance of their child. Think the beautiful art direction of Ori meets the game design of Castlevania and you may have a sleeper hit on your hands. These are just some of the games I'm looking forward to this year. This doesn't even include the next chapter in the Final Fantasy VII remake, the Lightfall expansion for Destiny 2, Redfall, Starfield, Resident Evil 4 Remake and so much more. If you want to see any more of these games make sure to hit that subscribe button, otherwise check out this video for games that I loved last year. Until next time, thanks for watching.